Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Yufoma. I'm your host on this channel. On this channel, the goal is to help you become that amazing, elegant, sophisticated, and classy lady you've always dreamt of. So if you're new to this channel, if this is your first time I've seen this pretty face, please make sure you become part of the family by clicking on the subscribe button, like, comment, and share this video. Yeah, and if you're my recent subscriber, hey girl, I love you. I'm super excited to see you super happy to see you here i'm just excited here i am so guys our discussion today is how to love yourself self-love that's our discussion today so girls i'm going to share with you some tips on how to love yourself remember self-love is one of the most important if not the most important thing you need in life you need self-love to grow you need self-love to be the best you need self-love to achieve some so many things it's when you love yourself you're able to love some other person so go make sure you watch this video to the end because i've got some amazing points that you wouldn't want to miss yeah i have the point written down here so let's get straight to the video the number one point here is know your words first of all i'd like to explain to you that your worth is not measured by the amount you have in your account balance is not measured by your background. It's not measured by people's opinion or what people think of you. No, that's not your words. Knowing your words is knowing who you are, knowing what you're capable of, knowing that you deserve the best, knowing that you are important, knowing that you are amazing, knowing that you are just the best of who you are. And you don't need to settle for less. So know your words. Know that you deserve nothing but the best. Know your words, girl. That's number one point. And second point is love yourself. I must tell you, girl, no one can love you better than yourself except God. God is the only person that can love you better than yourself. Even God recognized self-love. That's why he said, love your neighbor as yourself. So that means you cannot love your neighbor except you love yourself. Self-love is what you need in your everyday life. You need to love yourself. You need to be grateful for you, who you are. You need to stop judging yourself. You need to stop judging yourself. You need to know that you love yourself, appreciate yourself, give yourself the things that you deserve. Give yourself the, the best and never you settle for less things. Always go for the quality things, the good things, the best things, because you need to love yourself. It's only when you love yourself you can love your partner, you can love your family members. It's only when you love yourself that you can love some other person. If you don't love yourself, if you don't know your value, if you don't know your worth, then you won't know the value of some other person and you can love some other person. So go, make sure to love yourself. You deserve the best. So never settle for less. That's number two point. The third point is believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Believing in yourself is a great way of showcasing your self-love. Showcasing, yeah. I hope that word is correct. So, girl, you need to showcase. You need to prove. It's a proof that you love yourself. So, believe in yourself. Irrespective of what anybody thinks. If people do not believe in you, believe in yourself. But if the whole world believes in you and you doubt in yourself, you don't believe in yourself, then you are just a failure. But if the world, if the whole world doubts you and you believe in yourself because you know your worth, you value yourself, you love yourself, then go, you are so much a success. So go, believe in yourself, believe you can achieve a lot, no matter the circumstances, no matter how tough it seems, no matter people's opinion. Some people might say, oh, you can't do this, you can't do that, uh, you don't, you are not qualified. It is only you that knows if you are qualified or not. So never look down on yourself. Always believe in yourself. No matter how tough it's in remember, tough time never lasts, but tough people do. So go. No matter the circumstances surrounding you, no matter the struggles, always learn to believe in yourself. When you believe in yourself, you are more than a conqueror. And the next point is respect yourself. You know, some people do not really respect themselves. Like, you don't believe you deserve respect. Like, you look, you're look, you always looking down on yourself. You always say, yeah, who am I? Let me just settle for this. Let me just manage this. Let me go for the most simplest. Uh, let me not show myself too much because I don't deserve this. I don't deserve something good. You are always judging yourself. You're always looking down on yourself. Why? Sis, why? 
Why don't you respect yourself? Why do you allow people to talk down on you? Why do you allow people look down on you? Why do you people allow people, I'm sorry, why do you allow people mistreat you? Because you don't respect yourself. You don't believe you deserve to be respected. Sweetheart, you deserve the best. You deserve to be respected. Stop allowing people to disrespect you. Don't allow people to say anything to you. And uh, like anybody can walk up to you at any point in time, say whatever they like to you, and you're like, okay. <laughs> After all, who am I? You're always looking down on yourself. No, sweetheart, you deserve to be respected. So always respect yourself. Don't allow people to mistreat you. Always set standards. Set limits for people. Let people know that limit in your life. Don't just allow people to just come and say whatever they like to you and get away with it. I don't mean you should fight, but at least set standard in a way that people will not just come. Anybody can just come to you and begin to say things to you because they believe you don't deserve respect or because you believe you believe you don't have you don't you don't have to be respected. Sweetheart, you deserve to be respected. So never you allow anybody to disrespect you, no matter what. No matter who you are, your account balance does not mean maybe you don't have much. You feel like, oh, you, you're poor or you don't really have much. And then, therefore, you don't deserve respect. You don't deserve respect. Baby, you deserve respect. You deserve to be respected. So please respect yourself. Respecting yourself is also, also means mind the people you relate with. Mind the group you are with, the people you and mind the things you say. Self-respect is, is also about your circle don't just mingle with anybody you see begin to talk to people you see like everywhere so carry yourself with so much respect because you deserve to be respected that's the the, the next point is um that's it and the next point is forgive yourself you can't love yourself if you're still living in the past. If you're always thinking about the terrible things you've done in the past. No. You have to let go of your past. I mean, everybody has a past. Those people you admire, sorry, you admire, you, you're always like, oh, this person is just so perfect. Oh, this person is just cool. Your past might be so much better than theirs, but because they have forgiven themselves, themselves and they have moved on and that's why you see them having so much peace they seem so excited they're happy they're living a cool life and you're always admiring them while you are carrying your past you're like oh i've been terrible i don't deserve this i don't deserve that no nobody's going to respect me i've lived a terrible life in the past blah 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 no baby you need to forgive yourself forgive your past no matter how terrible it is Forgive yourself. Free your mind. Forget about the past. Work on the future and be happy about the present. No matter how, how terrible you think your past is, it's not terrible enough for you not to forgive yourself. And it's when you forgive yourself that God can also forgive you. So, baby, free your mind. Forget about the past. Take out everything that will make anything that will make you remember about your past. Take it away from your mind. Take it away from your sight and move on with your life you are not the worst person you haven't committed the worst sin even the bible says for all have sinned and cut short of the glory of god so that means nobody is free nobody is a saint everybody is a sinner but you have to forgive yourself and move on so forgive yourself from every terrible past from everything you've done in the past that you feel you shouldn't have done everything you wish you can change yeah you can't change it even if you keep wishing to change it and you keep dreaming and like keep hating yourself for doing this it's when it's for doing that it won't make any difference the only difference you can make right now is to change the past to forget about the past drop the past and move on with your life yeah that's the point in helping yourself and loving yourself the next point is to appreciate yourself you know, some of us or some people get so busy with their life, like they forget to appreciate themselves. Like you are always judging yourself. They're like, oh, I am this. 
I am slow, I'm not fast, I'm not making it, I'm not successful. Every other person is making it. Every other person is so good, they are so perfect, uh, blah, blah, blah. You never appreciate yourself. Always appreciate yourself. Appreciate your effort, even if it wasn't successful, even if things didn't work out as you had planned or expected. Well, appreciate the effort you put. Appreciate the fact that you were able to reason doing something nice. Appreciate the fact that you are alive. Being alive is a great blessing. So appreciate yourself and also appreciate God because he's the giver of life. So appreciate the little things you do, even if you don't achieve all you've always dreamt of, even if you don't achieve all the dreams, all the even if you didn't win all the things you have always wanted to do and uh, maybe the end don't seem to be too pleasant for you. Always appreciate your effort. Appreciate the little things you do. Appreciate the fact that you're able to make someone put a smile on someone's face. Appreciate the life you live. Appreciate your the, your breath. Appreciate the things you do, the little things you do to make life easy and simple for some other person or yourself. Appreciate yourself because you deserve to be appreciated. Even if no one else sees the importance of you being appreciated, appreciate yourself. Baby, appreciate yourself because you deserve to be appreciated. Even when you fall, learn to get up, wipe or dust yourself and move on and appreciate yourself. Yeah. The next point is be contented with what you have. Greed and greed is one of the most terrible things one can have in life. Don't be greedy. Don't like desire or not desire don't um um crave for what you don't have like you have let's say you have um what do i use as a sample okay let me say um you have um a house worth 50 million and you someone else have a house worth 200 million and you're like oh you want to become that person you want to own what the person owns. You are not happy with yourself. You are always frustrated. Like you are always angry. You are not. You are never contented. You always want what um some other person have, and never wanting the things you have. You always desire for what other person have, and you never desire for the things you have. Appreciate the little things you should have. Be, learn to be contented with what you have. If you are not contented with what you have, you'll be frustrated, you'll be angry with yourself, you'll hate yourself, you'll be bitter. And that is making yourself feel terrible. You're not loving yourself. So learn to be contented with what you have, appreciate the things you have, and work on getting the things you don't have. But be contented with what you have. The next point is take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. You know, it's only when you take care of yourself it's only when you spend yourself on yourself that some other person can spend on you. It's only when you take care of yourself that some other person can take care of you. I mean, if you can't take care of yourself, that means you don't deserve to be taken care of. So, baby, take care of yourself. Your physical appearance, everything that concerns you, take care of them. Take care of your brain, your mental health. I mean, there's so many ways to take care of yourself. You can, whatever that makes you angry, that whatever that makes you unhappy get away from such things get away from um toxic people walk away from people who look down on you walk away from people who does not believe in you that is helping your mental health because if you're with people toxic people who does not believe in you who will talk down on you then you will get frustrated and that is not showing love to yourself so do away with everything that makes you bitter and welcome everything that makes you happy, everything that makes you excited, everything that brings out the best in you. Take care of yourself physically, emotionally, um, otherwise financially. Um, work smartly to make money. Also work hard to make money. Yeah, so you can have, you can be financially stable. <laughs> that is taking care of yourself so you can take care of your bills and other things. Then your physical appearance, you know, when a person meets you and the first thing they see is your physical appearance, the, the, the man, they will not come into you to know if you're a nice person, if you're amazing, if you're excellent, if you're intelligent. But your physical appearance, first of all, tells a lot about you. So, baby, 
take care of your physical appearance. It will really help you in becoming the best you. It will help you in the journey of self-love. Yeah. Take care of your emotions. Um, free yourself from everything toxic, toxic people, toxic relationship, toxic environment, everything that is harmful to your mental health, get away from them. That's it for this video. So, girls, uh, yeah, guys, I hope this video is going to be of great help to you in loving yourself, in your love, in your journey of self love, in the, your journey of self development, in your journey of leveling up your life. I really love you. Remember, in every video, there must be a quote. So today's quote goes like this. Happiness is found within you when you're satisfied with the things you have and never designed for what you don't have. I really love you, my amazing ladies. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Like this video and share. See you in the next video. Bye.